Hi, welcome to Speak Spanish with Maria Fernandez. I'm Maria Fernandez and this podcast is brought to you by my Spanish learning website, querapido.com. At querapido.com, you can see the free transcript of this lesson. To get it, tap the link in the episode description on your mobile device. Today's question comes from Anne, one of my private students. Anne wants to know how she can learn Spanish faster. She's been learning Spanish for about a year, but she doesn't feel she's making enough progress. This is something that most of us language learners experience at some point or another, usually just within weeks of starting to learn the new language. Then you suddenly feel that you're not making any progress, that you're forgetting quite a few things, that you're wasting your time, that you could be doing things a lot better. And then you start to get demotivated, you lose your self-esteem and eventually you give up. That's a very, very common scenario. So to help you learn Spanish fast and to help you continue learning and to get your motivation up and to not lose your self-esteem, I'm going to give you six very practical, very doable ideas. The first one is something that I've talked about before in this podcast and that's to get a good Spanish course that you like. It is absolutely essential that you study Spanish with a course that you like and that you stick to it. Once you find a course that you like, stick to it. Go through it from beginning to end. Don't skip any lessons, any exercises, any drills. Nothing. Just go through it. Even if you know some bits here and there, just never skip anything. That's the way to learn faster, to build a solid base and to keep your motivation up because you'll never have any gaps if you do your course that way. The second idea is to always study at the right level. I remember when I first started learning German, I got a book that my father had. It was for an intermediate level. It was far too difficult for me. So I got completely demotivated. I was wasting a tremendous amount of time looking things up in the dictionary. And then one day I just decided to get a course for complete beginners. And the thing changed overnight. I started learning much, much faster. And soon I was doing the intermediate level course that a few months before meant absolutely nothing to me. So always study at the right level. If you don't know exactly which level you've got, the easiest thing to do is to go for a level that is slightly lower than you think. So, for example, if you've done a bit of Spanish in the past, but not very much, I would recommend that you go for an absolute beginner's level. That way you will have no gaps and it will be so motivating every time that you come across something you already know. So always study Spanish at the right level. Before I continue with this lesson, let me remind you that on YouTube, you can listen to every episode of this podcast 48 hours before anywhere else. My YouTube channel is Speak Spanish with Maria. You can see the link in the episode description on your mobile device. The third idea that I would like to give you is to establish a routine. This again has helped me tremendously when learning foreign languages. With today's technology, this is really easy because you can take your course with you wherever you are. You can study for five minutes on the bus, for 10 minutes while you're waiting for somebody, for 10, 15 minutes during your lunch hour, for 20 minutes when you're commuting. You can even study in the bath or just before you go to bed. And you can establish that great routine of either a few minutes here and there Or if you prefer, you can study, for example, for one hour in the morning or one hour in the evening. And that way you will progress a lot faster. Establishing a routine is also very good for the people that live with you, for those around you to realize that learning Spanish really matters to you. For example, when they see you sitting down with your course for half an hour or an hour, they won't disturb you. The first few days they might not understand what's going on, but then soon they'll realize how important it is for you to learn Spanish and they'll leave you alone. You will not get disturbed and they will respect what you're doing. Establishing a routine is also very good for avoiding procrastination. 
you know, we all tend to procrastinate when we're not too sure of what it is that we want to do or when we find it difficult or when we just don't know exactly how to go about something. But if you establish a routine and you've got a good course and you know exactly what to do the next day, you don't have to plan anything because the course is there. You know, all you need to do is open your book or your app or your video course. And then because you study in the evening or because you study in your lunch hour, that's it. You just simply do it. You don't procrastinate because that's what you do every day, just like brushing your teeth or having your breakfast. So establish a routine. It's a great, great idea. The fourth idea that I want to give you is to learn something new every day. When I was learning English, I always tried to learn at least a, a couple of words every day. It's so motivating. Even if you're not going through a whole new lesson, at least try to learn something new. Even if it's just reading out a few dialogues or doing one new drill, just something, something new. It will motivate you. It will increase your self-esteem and it will encourage you to continue learning the language. The fifth idea is to review your lessons as often as you can. Again, I've talked about this before in other episodes, how reviewing your lessons is absolutely essential. Reviewing is as important as learning new things. One of the reasons why reviewing is so important is because it's the way that you build a solid base, that solid base that you need in Spanish in order to progress, in order to learn faster and more difficult things. So always review your lessons as often as you can. And the sixth idea is to get rid of negative thoughts. Negative thoughts can ruin the best of our projects. If you have negative thoughts about your Spanish learning, if you have doubts, if you want to give up, just think of the other five ideas I have given you today. Have a good course that you like. Study at the right level. Establish a routine. Learn something every day and review your lessons. Just push your negative thoughts to a side and just study Spanish just the way that you do other things throughout your day without even thinking about them. Negative thoughts often come from other people and those you really have to ignore. Sometimes those closest to you will not understand why you're learning Spanish. Well, the truth is, it's not their problem. It's not their life. You just have to learn to ignore them. There is one thing I want you to remember whenever negative thoughts start to nag you, and that's positivity will take you to the most wonderful places. Language learning tips are great for speeding up the learning process. Before I go, let me remind you that on YouTube you can listen to every episode of this podcast 48 hours before anywhere else. My YouTube channel is Speak Spanish with Maria. You can find the link in the episode description, together with all the other links I've mentioned in this episode.